This past Wednesday, February 15, 2023, Officer Marco D'Andrea of the Belmont Police Department received the life-saving award for his heroic actions taken on the night of February 9th. Marco describes the incident which happened at a recreational soccer league game last week. A gentleman that I've known who plays with us. We were playing together um, about 8.40 p.m. He was running across the field and he just collapsed. Um, wasn't moving. He was sort of a snoring sound. I thought he was, he was concussed when his head hit the court. I ran over, put him in the recovery position, and then he took about three or four breaths, and then he stopped breathing. Put him on his backside, started CPR. I told, I started EMS basically. I told uh, another individual to call 911. Told another individual to grab the AED that was in the hallway located behind me, about 50 feet behind me. Continued chest compressions till the gentleman, uh, Armin Palin was his name, brought the uh, DFib, and uh, I, I helped Armin kind of work through the, the AED because he didn't know sort of how it functioned. So continuing chest compressions while directing Armin, he worked around me, put the pads on. Uh, the AED advised a shock. We shocked the individual, and uh, he came to within about two seconds after the shock. So that's when uh, police and fire arrived to assist, and they took him to Mount Auburn Hospital. So Marco is being awarded with the Life Saving Award, and the award is a uh, Life Saving Award is awarded to police officers who are directly responsible for saving of human life or where evidence indicated that the actions by the officer prolonged the human life to the extent of the victim being released to the care of medical authorities. So, so I'm going to present Marco with our Life Saving Award. Here you go, Marco. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, Marco. An emotional Marco talks about how he was grateful that he was there that night. I've known him my whole life, so it was pretty difficult. It's not like we go to a call, <clears throat> a lot of people that we respond to, we don't know. Um, I've known him since I was eight years old, so I'm just glad I was there to help him. And I was uh, sort of the stars aligned that day for him. I'm glad he's alive and uh, he can see his family again. And that's it. You know, people call us heroes all the time, but, you know, it's, it's really just the thing that we do. And it wouldn't just be me. All the officers that I work with would have done the same thing if they were in my shoes. And they honestly deserve praise too, and the training that you guys give us, and obviously the the support from coworkers and and family. It's it's great. It's incredible, but that's Marco. I knew he was a good man the first day I met him, and he's continually proves it. And he was he did what he needed to do. The training kicked in, and uh, I'm grateful that things have turned out really well for both of them. It sounds like the gentleman that. He rescued is doing well, and that's very good news. But we're all extremely proud of Marco and his efforts and what he does every day as a police officer. Marco praised the importance of the training that he has received from the Belmont Police Department. It's extremely important because even though we might go home at the end of the day, we take our uniform off, all the things we learn and do here, you know, we're, we're kind of cops 24-7. Even though we go home to our families and we take the uniform off, if, if we see something that we can help people, we do. I saw someone that needed help, I went over and helped them. That's just, it's not really thinking. It's just what, I, what we do, what we train. Um, it's sort of like a, a second nature for us. So I was completely calm at the time. Um, explained directions to people. And after the fact, I did get emotional. After the fact, it hit me. But he was, he was alive then. Um, and again, it's probably because it's someone I've known for since I was eight years old. So 